I think the most interesting thing I took away from probably the last episode was now hmm, was teacher Dika and the other teacher attracted to one another but there's a lot of underlying homophobia in this show and so is that put in the school's reputation at risk is it also you know just society not accepting them is is maybe that part of why the teacher decided he couldn't live anymore because he wanted to be with him oh yeah is this the teacher is he driving to maybe they had a, a spot that they both went together to and also i forgot the teacher's name chaddock until just now because someone said it <laughs> Is this who came to see him in his last moments? Uh-huh. Maybe he doesn't think he can go on without him. I mean, that fool, by the way. Ooh. It's the whole idea of trying to save him. You know, that kind of idea of could I, could I have saved them? So I'm guessing there was attraction. This is the second time they they cut um oh uh, they cut out the theme song. Yeah, but he's also been made to install the rules. He did his own. Yeah. I was gonna say he did it himself. Yeah. He could have said stuff to him, he still did it. Yeah, the touch on- I keep saying about the touch. The implications. The messaging. As if though he just found out one of his favourite teachers is dead. I think he's also a bit emotional about that. Uh oh. Suicide. There's a whole idea about depression as well. They have brought this up a couple of times now. It's getting quite dark. We're also at episode 11. That's not usually a good thing. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they would have happened with someone else. So he's putting too much blame once again. See, there's too much pressure on him. You can tell this actor is so tired. Yeah, the and the emotions. <sighs> oh, look, they're freely sharing a bit now. No hesitation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Just say, <laughs> yes, but you keep <laughs> mentioning it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he didn't say you could go back to it. You <laughs> keep mentioning it. If you want to cuddle up, cuddle up. Did you two flirt? Just push his face away. <laughs> Because he knows you like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. Aku bang ni. Sounds like a ukulele. Mai. Hmm. I'm waiting for him to punch him so you can give him a kiss. Jangan lawan mai. Pao zai yang. Uh, is then you're gonna go to the lips afterwards. Forehead and then lips. Oh no. Mm-hmm. Watch. They do a good job of showing two people that genuinely have built an attraction. I will say, I does put a bit of pressure on him as well. That he's been doing this a few episodes now. I don't think you can just skip it. You can try and escape as much as you want. It will come back. That's true. At least they have a double. You okay? What are I? I mean, that one, yeah. Long one, huh? Yeah, maybe he doesn't feel like he deserves it now, even though he's worked hard. Okay, hold your red one, and then away. That's on, yeah. Now things are working out, and then any car, I don't. He's really depressed. Like, he's really depressed. They've also put makeup on him to make him a little bit more drawn out, it seems. <laughs> he likes putting it <laughs> on him. <laughs> it's true. It's part of their history together. <laughs> It's up. Yeah. Oh, 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 He's a bit of a hopeless romantic at points. Oh, and then shift into darkness. Now he comes. Right. Right. Yeah, this is the head honcho. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Welcome to the game. Oh, is this the award ceremony? Oh, so she's straight into business. Okay. So that's what she cares about. You keep looking at him as if it's all his fault, but at the end of the day, there's other factors. ที่ทีการในวันนี้เป็นธรรมเนียมปฏิบัติที่สืบทอดกันมาของชาวสุพโลวันหนึ่งร้อยปีขอให้ทุกคนตั้งใจกล่าวคำปฏิญาณตนด
Yeah, he's like, what's going on here? He he notices things way too much to him. ข้าพเจ้าขอปฏิญาณว่าจะเคารพในกลเวียของสุทโลเหนือสิ่งอื่นใดขอข้าพเจ้าตระหนักว่าเมื่อลงเรียนมีกฎพวกเราจึงมี
Carry on, I want to say something about you. Okay, first of all, there are elements to what he's saying is true about, you know, it's clear that I does want to protect Ak. They are dating. But he has no right, Tua has no right to out them to everyone around them. You don't know what kind of dangers you could have put them in. What kind of loss of, say, education or uh, credibility or do you know, what could happen to them in terms of, like, sp uh, sponsorships, um, scholarships, things like that. Tua has no place to do what he just did. Just because he now wants to have freedom doesn't mean you out someone. It's a very underhanded tactic that he did. Like, I knew there was something about him because it kept highlighting him at points. And I said this before, like, you know, Namu was my number one. He was number two. Mmm. No, don't like that. You had no right to out him. That is a really sad thing. Like if he wants to call out the teacher or he wants to call out Namu, because Namu also technically so, yeah, he's using that, but you don't get to out someone. You don't get to out someone. We get it to keep them in place. Like they're afraid of the curse, it keeps them in place. We know about this. Thing is, he can accuse him, it's not false. <laughs> Oh boy, I need I need someone to punch him. You may be speaking some truths, but you don't get to just out someone. No. Yeah, it's, it's not gonna work what? Where's the camera? You really think people are going to believe this? I mean, I, like, we get it with him being a student who created the curse. We get that. But who did the burning of the effigy? Like, who burned the, the doll? She does diffuse the situation a lot. You can only protect them for so long. Yeah, no, I've lost a lot of respect for Tua. That was, you don't, you don't do that to people. You don't get to just out them like that. That could have, genuinely, imagine if that could have, they could have been in a very dangerous situation. Imagine. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's his camera. things he confessed as well he finally got that burden off of his chest and then obviously they said it was an act and again it's it's pressure all the way back on him again oh the the tour situation i understand as well he is young and he's sick and tired of everything going on and just wants it to stop and wants to act to confess. 
you know, he wants someone to take accountability and responsibility. And I wonder if a little bit of jealousy because he wants the award. Probably not. That's just me guessing. And I, like I said, again, he is young. And people who are young have made mistakes. Like, there are people out there who might have outed someone by mistake. But his intention to out them, to me, wasn't a mistake. It wasn't a slip of the tongue that, you know, sometimes people can have when they're young. When they're outed about and they think people know something about someone and they don't you know their sexuality in this case it was very intentional to cause the added stress and pressure to act you know we i've said he seems drawn he seems sad you know there's a whole thing about depression and taking your life and not being able to handle things and that becomes a worrying factor because of how despondent he's become but to do it the way you did and just accuse all of these people because all of a sudden you found your voice and you want to protest. Okay. But you could have, like, genuinely, it, it's lucky that it's in this school. It could have been somewhere else like, far more dangerous. Because people will look at him differently now. Doesn't matter if some people believe it was an act. There will be people who are like, no, it wasn't. And we know there's rampant homophobia in this school. Not to say, what about if someone tells his parents? Like, don't get me wrong. I'm just still on, I'm still on it. Still on it. They were a bit brazen, you know, kissing in the, the dark places in their school where they could be caught. But, you know, you don't get it out. He's trying to I mean, he can start fresh. He can. But. I mean, he can. Freedom when he leaves as well. Let's forget. There we go. See? Investigation. Is he going to take it all? Well, he would, because it was, it was his dream at one point. Of course he was going to be sad to some degree. It's what he wanted. And it's just kind of gone. Very true. It was just a piece of you while you're at school. It's not who you are. It's a part of you. Oh, is this going to be the parents? Who's this going to be? Okay. The thing is that because he, he tried to hurt those students, he could get in a lot of trouble for this. No, but you don't get to force them to do it. That's not right. Like, sorry, just because you want people to tell the truth, you do not get to do that. Hey, what? He's gonna punch him. Oh. See? What Tua did here? He could break up complete friendships here. No. It's about the curse. All the, all the trouble. 
เอวัดคันมันก็รู้ความจริงจากไอ้ถั่วกันแล้วไม่ใช่เหรอว่ามันมีคนอยู่เบื้องหลังไอ้อัดอะอีกอย่างคือเราไม่รู้ว่าการฆ่าแม่ทุกคนเชื่อในมันและการเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันมีความเชื่อที่มันเป็นสร้อยของหน้าชายผมผมเป็นหลานชายของอาจารย์ดีกา It had to come out. They, the rest of them had to find out. I was expecting a little bit more reaction. อาจารย์รู้ไหมครับว่าตอนนี้เขาเป็นไงบ้าง Dead. He knows. รู้ไหมครับน้ำมันก็ยาไปโรงเรียนคู่แข่งไงน้ำฆ่าตัวตาย Seems that there's a bit more to it than just because of him. Ajahn, you can complete the book of the Lemon, can't you? Ajahn, kill me, sir. Like Ajahn is doing with Ajahn Sani, can't you? Killing her? What? Kill it? Ajahn, kill me, sir. Ajahn, kill me, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll step back. ไม่มีใครฆ่าคนรักของตัวเองได้หรอกนะอายัง To hear that what she just said. So she knew all along. So she's the one who took it then. Oh, she found a picture. ฉันขอโทษนะคะอาจารย์ That was interesting. I didn't expect. Her to just have this picture. See, they were happy. He also looks so different when he smiles. See what pressures can do when they, when you don't fit into society in what they consider normal, or following the rules. Love at first sight. It is. It's going to be love at first sight. Well, Uh -huh. you want to give someone that type of look when they, they catch your breath. นี่เป็นคู่มืออาจารย์ฝาปกครองเอาไปดูนะขอบคุณครับโอ้ยเก็บมันด้วยสมัยวิ่งเอาได้สมัยครูกับอาจารย์วิ่งเอาได้หรอกพบกันลับลับอีสุสันนิสิสิสมัยที่อายุมากในซีรีส์ที่เขามีความสัมพันธ์ย้ายเขาอยู่บ้านใหม่ด้วยกันเอาตัดเฮาส์ไม่เอาตรงกลางมาเอาด้านซ้ายสุดวันนี้แหละกำลังดียิ้มเนี่ยข้างหลังโน้นล่ะว้าวเดี๋ยวมันก็จะเก็บมาเฮ้ยพี่ล้อผมเล่นมั้ยเนี่ยกินอมนี่กินอมนี่พี่รู้นะว่าเรื่องระหว่างเราเนี่ยมันยากแต่พี่สัญญานะ The last episode did make me question the teacher chat up because of the way he reacted to things and the way they highlighted. They did a good job in doing it slowly. ท่านพอมฮะ
What did he do? Did he accuse him or what? So what? Just not in the score here again. Because apparently you can't be gay. Yeah, he's... But not him. And he chose the school. Yeah, he chose the school. Too. So he gave up. And that must haunt him. And that would for the rest of his life. I feel like you abandoned him. Depression, uh, bi bipolar, manic. Did he, have a, did he have an episode? Uh, I think a lot of us can relate to this element. My, oh, just the idea. <laughs> I have to applaud this actor for doing such all of them for doing such a good job in this scene. Like this, this part was really strong. <laughs> Right? Think about it, people. Why would you hurt people who just want to be in love? Who just want to be themselves? Okay, bye. He's, his attitude, the way he thinks he could just... ในหนังสืบสวนน่ะตอนสุดท้ายตัวร้ายจะสารภาพกับทุกคนไรท์มึงไม่คิดจะพูดอะไรหน่อยเหรอไอ้แอคลุมสุริยคาดอ่าฮ
You mean invaded someone's privacy? Yeah, he manipulated people. You keep saying about telling the truth, but you're willing to hurt everyone in the process. But you just, yeah, he just doesn't seem to care about anyone. Like, what happened to your dad? Or what, like, there's some sort of reason behind it. ก็ยอมรับผลที่กูทําไงกูเลิกที่จะทําเองได้สิฮีโดกูรู้อยู่แล้วฮีโดกูรู้อยู่แล้วฮีโดกูรู้อยู่แล้วฮีโดกูรู
There's a lot of people doing this fake curse. Keeping it going. I like how he's just, they're all okay with him after everything. And now his personality is different. It's back to how it would work. No thanks. It's not easy writing screenplays, just gonna say. Because technically you all are in a BL. There you go, they've got soft power. It's, it is time for change. It will create change. It doesn't stop him from flirting, does it? Like what? Because obviously, any. Let me just get on the call. Hope me. The call me give me calm. Love, baby. Oh, now he's asking if it's okay, but before you were out and everyone. What are you going to say? Uh, it's these two. Didn't he have a fight with them before? It's true, people were looking around at them. People do this. <sighs> okay. Like, this is a sweet moment. I'll, I'll give the moment a sweet. I just don't like the shift. It, it, didn't, it just doesn't make sense from what we got in the first like, two parts. Oh, look at everyone's reaction. <laughs> look at the hug. Oh no, he's gonna kiss him to convince everyone. Oh, he's gonna hug him. Okay. I mean, it's a hug. I like how he says no one's convinced and people are smiling away. Yeah, I think they were convinced a, a minute ago. But it, it shows the growth in Khan that he's willing to let people know. That's how it works. He's not wrong. He's a good director. <laughs> He's squeezing his cheeks. <laughs> I like that. I like how you just have them having fun. He's still squishing his cheeks. It's good acting. That's the whole point. Then <laughs> literally, that was the whole point. Oh, we're going back to their little arguments. And now that we know everything that's happened, it feels so different. <laughs> Oh, 
ประธานชมรมสอนนักเรียนหน่อยเนี่ยแล้วก็เห็นโพสมันที่ดินโพสต์ประฟูเล่นดีกว่าเพื่อนเล่นหัวเล่นเก่งจริงเฮ้ยพวกมึงซีนต่อไปเนี่ยเป็นซีนตรงอัศจรรย์นะเว้ยเล่นดีว่ะอยากดีว่ะมึงพูดสิแล้วสรุปมึงชอบกูก่อนใช่ปะอืมมีอะไรเพิ่มเจอดิเลย it's hard to say who fell for who first นั่นแหละชอบกูก่อนกูชอบมึงทีหลังเว้ย cause the way they interacted I feel like you can't tell that's the smart thing about this show นี่เป็นครั้งแรกเลยนะที่มึงบอกว่าชอบกูอ่ะคือบีเหมือนกันนะ They should be rolling the cameras right now. Obviously, not the ones we're watching from. Go to the music. Watch out, we're getting close. Shut the. Huh? I like how he gets shy, but they're supposed to be filming as well. He's got to remember that. No, poor man, but I. What an episode! A lot, a lot happened. I would say personally, the first half was much, much stronger than the second half. I also, I'm not sure what they're going to do with the final episode because they seem to have resolved elements of what happened. You know, everything's out in the open. Everyone know uh, now knows. But obviously, the film. I'm guessing they may have to show to the school. And maybe that helps get sponsorship. Uh, Chaduk, uh, maybe he needs to go and grieve at the site of where Dika died. Uh, maybe he needs to say it out just you know to express how much he misses him because clearly the guilt is eating him alive, and he's had to hide it under a facade of being kind of stern. They did a good job in breaking his character down near the end, and I really did think. Part two of this episode was the strongest part. I think it was really nice that they touched on how they were going to get married, they were in love. Then obviously, school's reputation, him, you know, kind of doing what he did and the guilt from it. I thought that was really well done because though you got a sense there was more to it, that there had to be an idea because obviously they were highlighting about sexuality throughout the whole show. So it was a nice, it was nice how they did it because there's been messaging. Throughout the whole show, uh, I yeah. So let's get into tour. Obviously, I've said my piece here and there. Uh, does it make me hate the character? Absolutely not. It actually adds a whole new dimension to the character because he's been so quiet and unassuming. Even though I think we all at points had an idea that we suspected him. I think you know because. He wouldn't be there at points, or it had to be someone. And I always, he was always at one of the top suspects for me. It just made sense. Uh, it was interesting because once he revealed everything, he had this very cold demeanor and was like, "I don't care. I, every, I'm going to air everyone's grievances. I'm going to tell everyone what happened." And there were elements to what he was saying was true. Like he said, he wanted the curse to stop, but it's been hypocritical. You wanted it to stop, and you continued it on. So technically, we had. Three people continuing the curse on, and especially with the, the fear it installed in everyone, knowing you know it's not real. It was just people doing this, and it was to, to kind of help the reputation and where it started from. But what frustrated me with him was him outing people and having no accountability for it, and he did not. Now, to do that could be a very dangerous thing. I know in this. It's not going to be that dangerous. There's maybe you know a few slurs thrown around by people, but you know it's trying to show you the wider picture, and it was just interesting because they really changed his character. All of a sudden, he definitely had a slight villain arc, an antagonistic arc there, like very small, and then all of a sudden he confesses everything, and all of a sudden in the last two parts, they're fine. He's the screenplay writer, and I thought, and then he's back to how he was throughout the whole show. I didn't think that was good writing. I didn't think how they forgave him so easily with everything that happened. I, 
I did think that wasn't the strongest part. I, I just found that not believable considering how the first half of the episode was. The second half just, mm. you know, with that, I felt like they'd still needed, to, he needed to have a talk of calm. Uh, and like I said, there were elements of what he was saying was true in what he was saying. It's the way he went about it. And of course, like I said, he's young. So him thinking, you know, just getting it all out in the open, it kind of frees everyone. And I, like I said, there seemed to be a little bit of jealousy and it doesn't have to be anything other than he I think he was jealous that and frustrated about you know I and Ak hiding things once they started to date because obviously what they, they their personalities started to change you know we saw I less antagonistic towards the teachers obviously he still wanted the truth to come out or at least find out the truth but you know he went around things differently then they did the whole filming thing which was good the whole BL actor thing, you know, kind of the meta side of it. But it was just really frustrating that he just outed someone and it was just kind of a little bit of anger from people and it's just swept under the rug. And again, I know he's young, so of course. You know, you do have to look at it and think sometimes when we're young, we just don't think about it and because of what he was trying to achieve in that moment. But I just felt like they're all being fine with it so quickly and he's the screenwriter play and all of that i don't know i personally thought that was the weakest moment throughout the whole show because it just didn't feel believable i just didn't think that was good writing I, I felt like it was too rushed maybe if we had gotten in an episode or something earlier so they could hash out elements i don't know i just Personally, I felt the writing there got weaker. It just it was not strong. But maybe there are some of you who completely understand where Tua's coming from. Maybe there's some of you who don't. Maybe that really frustrated you. Maybe it didn't because it, it got everyone to reveal everything and it got some pressure of Axe back. I'm curious what, in a nice way, what everyone feels. Do you understand? Uh, did you get annoyed with Tua? Could you see the middle ground of everything? And did this episode have any twists and turns that you didn't see coming? 